could you give me the Shia about uh, uh, watermelon converting to Islam? Well, there is a video about it, but maybe I can find you a book. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> when I want to type in Arabic, it type in English. When I type in English, it type in Arabic. I made a video about it before. I switched to Arabic, still is coming back to English. What's wrong with this thing? It's not switching. Let us see. So if if the watermelon did not agree that Ali is the uh, the caliphate, <clears throat> let us see here. Um, I, I found the reference, but I'm trying to find an official. Uh, here we go. We found an official thing. All right, but it's in Arabic. You have, you have to use Google Translation. All right. Speaking here that the caliphate he wished to eat uh, a watermelon. So he commanded me to go and bring a watermelon. Uh, and then he went and he buy with some dirham, like this is the cor currency. He cut the first one, and it is uh, sore. Uh, it's not sore. What more in our in our in English mean more? Uh, I don't know really what the. I always Google translation is going to tell me. Uh, and so he told him like it doesn't taste good. So he said, throw him, throw the, throw the watermelon from fire to fire. He opened the second one and it was sore. This one was sore. He said, throw him from fire, from, throw it from fire to fire. So uh, he cut the third one, etc. Each one have a different taste. And then uh, he came with the three uh, with the three watermelon and then he said to him oh caliphate please don't order me to cut it you know I'm going to be sinner by cutting it uh, then he said Ya Qambar this is the name of the of this servant this watermelon is commanded which mean it's under his command so I sit and I cut it and it was sweet. Uh, yeah. I, I will use this one and then I will show you more reference because there's a continue for the story. Translate the English. So simply this one because it is under his command, it's believe in, in Ali. Uh, the the, uh, the watermelon is sweet, is ripe. All right. Uh, this is the book of Kitab al Anwar, Bihar al Anwar, uh, Al Majalis, part number 227, page number 282. Uh, let us uh, go and see a different one. 
So this, uh, this watermelon support the family of Muhammad, Ali, and his children. This is why it is a sweet. The one is not a sweet, this, they will go to hell because they are not supporting Ali. This is the whole point of this story. Let me see. Let me make the link short so I can post it for you. And you can... save it but again this is in, in Arabic so always you have to use Google translation which means you have to open it in Google browser in order to accomplish the translation what is the most accurate translation in the Quran none maybe you can read the translation of uh, 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 brother uh, Osama Dakdok, but me myself I did not read it in whole, so I cannot say it is really perfect or not. But I trust that he is he will he will do his best at least. You can search for Osama Dakdok translation. Still, it's possible. I don't agree with some of the translation. I did not read it. Uh, actually, he asked me before to read it, uh, but I don't have time really. Uh, but at least he he will not uh, fabricate, you know, like the Muslims. Do we have any Muhammadan? <clears throat> Any Muhammadan here would like to join us? Yeah, you know, the Shia, they have tons of stories. Uh, you know, the, the Shia stories is way beyond the Sunni stories. I mean, the Muslim Sunni story is stupid, dummy, but Shia, they beat everybody. As an example, according to the Shia, all Muslim Sunni are homosexual. Because when uh, uh, when a Muslim Sunni is born, Shaitan he put his finger in his anus and he used to it because he's Sunni. <clears throat> and the funny is, I asked once a Muslim Sheikh, Shia Sheikh, so if somebody he is a Sunni. And uh, so do you confirm that Shaitan, he put his finger in his anus and he become homosexual? He said, yeah, I confirm. I said, okay, what if later he becomes Shia? You should see. <laughs> he don't want to answer. He said, I cannot speak of something I do not know. I said, what do you mean? You just told me that everyone is a Sunni, is a homosexual because Shaitan, he put his finger in his anus. Now this guy, he decided to become Shia. And then he did not answer me right away. But then later he sent me a message saying, I asked other higher scholar and they said, Allah, he knew who is going to become Shia later. So he will spare the one who is born as a Sunni for now. So Shaitan will not put his finger inside his anus because Allah knew the future. It's a destiny. So, uh, he finger every Sunni, yes, but Allah He knew that this person one day will become Shia, so He will not allow Shaitan to put his finger in his anus to make him a gay. Yeah, and this is the scientific explanation for why somebody is a gay, because Shaitan He put his finger in his anus, scientifically proven by the Shia. Uh, do we have any Muhammadan? 
Shall we finish for today? I will give you a few hours to download my last few, three, four videos, and I will give time for Fakira to download the video, and later we will delete those videos. So Fakira, don't forget to download the video. I mean, you are in it. I want to see how proud you are. Show it to your friends. Let us laugh at you. And don't disable the comment section, Fakira. I want to see how many Muslims support your religion. It is hairless too. What hairless? Somebody trying? Is that Fakira trying to call me? It must be Fakira. I mean, who is going to call me now? I'm leaving. It must be Fakira. You want to bet? I know, I have a feeling it's Fakira. Hello, Fakira? I want to run. We laugh at you. Do you remember you promised me you would download the video, put it in your channel, correct? Yes, of course, in the morning. And you will leave all the comment yeah. open. You and, you, say, and you will oh, leave and you will leave all oh. the comment open, correct? Oh. And you will leave all the comment open, correct? I will put all the chat. Okay. And I wanna right. I, I wanna ask you, did you open the dictionary? You said to me marriage between me between. Is that correct? You I heard you accepted it at the end. I was laughing at you. I was driving. No, I did not I did not accept. Home. I did not, I did not accept you, donkey. I said, let us say for the sake of argument. You said, you the, told you... It's right, recorded, right. it's recorded, it's recorded, it's recorded. I said to you, I said to you, where... I, I showed you the translation of Rashad Khalifa, the one you accept. I said to you, where is the word between? Can you show it to me? And, and you stupid, you said to me, the word merge is the same as marriage. You mentioned to me potato, potato. Listen, it's recorded. You know, we don't need to make a drama. It's recorded. It's there. It's there. It's there. Anyway, listen. So did you open the dictionary to check what marriage mean? I don't need a dictionary. Oh, how come you do not need dictionary? You know Arabic? Dictionary is sufficient. No, no, listen, 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 listen. How come you do not need dictionary? Did you how you know the word meaning without dictionary? Now, did you say dark fire? Yes or no? Dark fire? I'm reading the translation, you stupid. Did you say that or not? Okay. And? And? Yes or no? Yes, yes, yes. I say that. I say that. This is what the. Here it's in the front of me. It says that. And? And, 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 and. So dark fire means fire with smoke. And? So that's what I said. So I said. Min marriage in Minnar was the. No, you said marriage means from between the fire. No. Not from fire. You said the word marriage. The Quran mentioned, you mentioned to me a different verse. You said marriage al Bahrain. Marriage al Bahrain. What does that mean? You said to me between, between. It's recorded. Between at first, and then I heard you saying it meaning between. You are the I one said, who said between, not me. You, after that, you said yes, even between. No, I did not say. I said, let us say for the sake of argument, even if it is between. What that would make a difference? You are stupid. Listen, listen, it's recorded. Listen, listen. So now, is it from between or from fire? It is from between. Where is the word between? Marriage. Where is the word? Okay, how the word marriage mean between? I have the dictionary in front of me in the screen. Read it. Put it there. Let me read it. Bright flame with intense flame or a flame mixed with the black blackness of fire. Blackness yes. of fire. What is the blackness of fire now? What is the blackness of fire? It's fire. No, blackness of fire. How <laughs> how can be black? What is the black? Is the smoke fire? It's a fire. Oh, oh, with... Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. It is smoke or not? It says the blackness of fire. You said the word marriage mean between. How come I don't see the word between there? <laughs> what? How can a fire be black? I don't fire. care. You tell me. You tell me. It's the word mean between. Okay, in it. That's why I love okay, it. Okay. So this is a fire. It, it's, it's not a... between. And you are a donkey. And admit. Go ahead. Let, let me prove to you. The proof is in another verse. Allah said, "Wal jana halakmani min ma min nari samun." Who's a toxic smoke? Okay. So 
Okay, hold on, hold on. So did did you just did you just mention to me that Allah He said He created the genie from fire? Yes. No. Okay. So did no. He create them? Hold on. Did He create I, them from fire or from between the fire? From between the fire. Listen. Can I? <laughs> okay. Hold on. Hold on. So if we go now, if we go right now to the translation you like, are we going to find the word between, or we will not find it? Be honest. Okay. Let me tell you. Uh huh. You. CSB, you cannot afford to let me speak for 20 seconds. Well, I'm laughing. I let you speak, and each time you make poo poo, you know, isn't it, isn't it me who showed the dictionary? Isn't it you who said between? It means between. Isn't it you who failed to show me where the word between appearing? Isn't it you who said to me, you accept Rashad Khalifa? Isn't it me who opened Rashad Khalifa? Isn't it me who showed Rashid Khalifa never mentioned the word between? So who is the stupid? So now I'm asking you, please. So, Narin Samum, you said Narin Samum. Okay, where is the word between? Can we find the word between in any Islamic translation? Either you say none, listen, Abdul, either you say zero Muslim translation, use the word between, or you say, I can find you at least one translation saying between. Wallah, I will if we give me 20 seconds. Go ahead, guys. He said he will find me one Islamic translation out of 10,000 using the word between. Go ahead. I said, if you give me 20 seconds. I said, go ahead. Show me the translation. You don't speak Arabic and your okay. understanding based on the translation. Show me the word between. Can you find one translation? Let me repeat for the last time. I'm losing my voice. <laughs> Can you show me one translation using the word between? And if there's not a single one, why? Go ahead. Okay, Allah said. Don't tell me Allah said. Give me the translation name. Bro, can I? Don't call me bro, donkey. You are not my brother. Yeah, Don't waste I my time. You see, you see why I have no patience for you, stupidity. You said to me, it says between. That means all of you Muslims should say between. I cannot find one Islamic translation which is useless for me because I speak Arabic. You don't speak Arabic. Show me where is the proof of the word between. You can't afford, let me speak for 20 seconds. Give me the translation. You, I don't want explanation. I want the translation because he, oh, Abdul, Abdul, potato. Do you have, do you have dignity? Do you have little dignity? When, okay. when you said to me, you accept Rashad Khalifa translation. Let us do it. Let us do it one more time. Do you accept Rashad Khalifa translation? By Allah, if I speak for 20 seconds, it'd be clear. No problem. Do you accept Rashad Khalifa translation? You said yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Can we use Rashad Khalifa as a judge between me and you? We can use it, but you gotta you gotta quote both verses. The no problem because because in any verses you choose in Rashad Khalifa, it has yes. to show the word between. Do we agree? No, 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 no. Open the verse. <laughs> Okay, hold on. What do you mean? Are you saying to me that Rashad Khalifa, he never mentioned the word between and he is fabricating the meaning of the Quran? What I'm telling you is he made a distinction between the two fires. What do you mean he made a distinction? Here we go. This is the translation of Rashad Khalifa for the verse you quote for me. It says, as for the jinn, we created them before that from blazing fire. Okay, now go to the other translation, uh, uh, to, to the other verse. We talk halakpani min narin. The same, here we go. I will go, oh, hold on, here we go. Okay, hold on, hold on. People will oh. laugh at you. Shut up, shut up. Okay. I already I, I already I showed that, you idiot. Here we go. Oh, shut up, shut up. Let me post the second translation, and now we will connect them together in front of everybody. Okay. Halakpani yes. min narin, here we go. Halakpani. Min Narin, mm -hmm. is there any blazing there? Shut up. I will show you the two translation because now we have to find the word between. All right. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Chapter 7, verse number 12. We go yes. to Rashad Khalifa. Chapter 7, verse yes. number 12. Here we go. Yes. So now yes. we have the two verses. All right. So, so where yes. is it from between? No, 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 it's a blazing. Is it blazing there? Okay, blazing fire. It's a fire, you strip it. No, no, it's not the same. Blazing so, fire. First of all, Abdul, Abdul. Listen, don't don't force me to insult you. This is a translation. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 
This is a translation, even doesn't say even blazing, you stupid, you donkey. Even in translation you choose, did not even say the word blazing. You said it's the same translation for, so it's not the same. Abdul, 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 Abdul. Both verses, none of them says between. Blazing fire is description for how strong the fire is. You said they both said blazing fire, is it? I did not say, I, I'm saying to you, you stupid, you donkey. You said to me, open the other verse so we can make connection. I said to you, can we find there the word between? Is that the same translation? The same translator, yes. Not. Uh, no, it, he said blazing fire here. Is it fire here? Is it the same? That's mean you are a donkey. That's mean it's still fire. <laughs> okay, the what the word blazing mean? Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> what the word? So, what the blazing? What the blazing feel? What what the blazing fire mean? I said, do you do you believe that it's a difference between the two? Abdul, don't. What the blazing fire mean? I'm asking you, is that the what the blazing fire mean? Everybody is laughing at you. You you became the joke of everybody. You know, you are a person who play gambling in my table. You come out with your panty, and now you are trying to retain your honor. Your honor is wasted long time ago when you called your prophet the effort. I'm asking you, what the blazing fire mean? So by the Bible, you never debate. Where where your answer blazing fire mean what? Did you swear by the Bible that you never debate me? I swear by the Bible I will never give you a chance again to debate me. I'm not debating you. I'm spanking you. Again, not again. I'm spanking you. In the past, you did that. I right? am not. I am not debating you. I don't debate. I said many times. I don't you debate see? people like you. I am showing everybody that you are a scumbag. You are a scumbag, you are a son of Muta, and you are a liar. And you are a liar. You see, I gave you a chance, I gave you a chance today to speak to me, not to debate me. And again, you prove that you are a fraud. You don't dare to answer. So don't change the topic. You're trying to, to escape where we can find the translation agree with you. So Rashad Khalifa says, nowhere it says between. All translation never say between. Can you show me one Islamic translation you accept say between? I told you that Rashad Khalifa has two different translations or two verses. One I don't care. Where is the word between in the two verses? Can we find it? Can I have 20 seconds? Can you you, you can have. I'm talking to you for the last 20 minutes. I'm repeating my, my myself and you didn't give me the answer. Why Rashad Khalifa never mentioned the word between? Can I have 10, 20 seconds? I will 20. give you 20 minutes. Can you give me interpretation from Rashad Khalifa saying what you, you are saying? If you give me five minutes, you I will bury your channel. Listen, I will, you are buried already. Everybody is laughing at you because you are adding words in the Quran is not exist. And not only that, not only that, you donkey, you are claiming that shaitan become a shaitan, became one of the jinn. And jinn mean that they are prisoners. They are not the kind of a creation. And you claim that genie were exist in heaven and they were in a prison. Did you say that? Now in chapter two, he said, "Wakana min al kafirin." Translate that. What? 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 In in, in chapter eighteen, he said, "Wakana." Why well, you are changing said, the topic, you donkey? I'm asking no, you. I'm, you said that the genie they were in a prison. There is many of them. So when Shaitan yes. disobey Allah, Allah put him with the rest of the genie in prison. Did you say that? Yes, Allah said that. And then I said to you, "Can you show me where the genie were in prison in the Quran?" Is that true? Allah said, "Wa is Allah lil malaikati usjudu li Adam, fasajudu illa ibilisi, wa kana min al jinn fa fasaq an amri Rabbi." Translated for people. Allah He ordered the angels to bow down to Adam. He did not. He refused, and he was a bad person. He disobeyed Allah. But this yes. is all is about. No, no, no. You jump the jinn. No, no, no. You you jump the jinn part, dummy. Okay, he was he was a genie, you donkey. He was a genie. Why? Why? He was a genie. He was a genie. Why? Hold on, the stupid Abdul. What do you mean he was a genie? He was a genie. He created him as a genie. He said, because he disobeyed. <laughs> okay, so the verse now, I will go with you. Everybody, listen to me. Look how stupid. Look, listen, 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 listen. Look how stupid he is. So you are saying to me that when Allah created the shaitan, he did not create him as a genie. Is that correct? I got my finger in your ass and put it back Listen, in your Listen, the finger in the ass of your mother, your son of Muta. 
Listen, behave yourself. Behave yourself. You just said that the genie was not created as a genie from the beginning. Everybody heard you. So when he disobeyed, Allah made him a genie. But the verse you gave me, your donkey, it says, I created the genie from fire, from the beginning. From the beginning, your donkey, they were fire. They are fire. They are made of fire. But now you are saying that genie, when he disobeyed Allah, Allah recreated him again, and he made him out of fire. Let me repeat in the front of everybody, Mr. Fink, Finger in the anus, your finger in your anus, not in anyone anus. And this is very famous of you. Listen, listen. I said to you, can you find me one Muslim agree with you? You said, who cares? I don't agree with anyone. Is that correct? I said, mm. you you just said it. He become a jinn because he disobeyed. Where we can find that? You said to me in the Quran, but the verse in front of us, you donkey. Hold on. The Quran say in the front of us, and you are the one who said to me, you donkey, there's a good genie and bad genie. But now you are saying to me that the one who disobey Allah make him a genie. How stupid huh? you are. No, I didn't say that. I no, say it. it's recorded. You said there's a good genie and bad genie. Yes. Okay. So if Allah is punishing the genie, by making him genie because he disobey you told me that already shaitan he disobey allah so allah made him a genie okay wonderful that means there's no good genie because only the one who are punished shut up son of muta shut up son of muta shut up listen you said that it's recorded and now you have to put it in your channel now listen 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 the verse the, uh, and I show a hadith from your prophet saying Allah created the angels from light, created the genies from fire from the beginning, and you are lying. I said, hmm. Adam disobeyed, Iblis disobeyed. Uh -huh. Iblis, hold on, Iblis, rep Adam repented, Iblis refused to repent, that's why he becomes shaitan. Uh, no, no, no. We're not talking about become shaitan. We're not talking about be shaitan now. We are talking about he was a genie or not, and you confirm. That when he disobeyed, don't try to fix it. You said when disobey, Allah made him genie. I said every jinn that repented had a second. No, 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 no. You explain to me why Shaitan become a genie. You said to me when he disobey, he become a jinn. Now, now, if you repent. You got a second chance in the world. Listen, you, this is not, I'm not asking you about this now. Shaitan, he was something else. And now Allah, because he disobeyed, he made him a genie. You said that. What Shaitan was before, what, that, shut up. What Shaitan that, was before, before Allah make him a genie. Who read the verse? What Shaitan, don't tell me read the verse. We did read it a thousand times. Shaitan, he was not a genie, according to you. When he disobeyed Allah, Allah made him a genie. So what he was before Allah, he made him a genie. I said he was an angel. Thank you very much. Don't call me again. Don't call me again. You are a son of Muta, and it's a waste of time. But now, now you can put your finger in your anus. And now every Muslim will laugh at you. Not a single Muslim in the world believe in such a garbage as you said. Not even Rashad Khalifa. Coward donkey. No Muslim. And he agreed. And he tried now to duct tape. And I made a promise I will never debate you. Today I decide to give you a chance to be a man, to speak like a man. But how a filthy creature like you can be a man? You cannot. Not only you lie about your religion, you insult your prophet. You say the F word to him. You, are very, you have a very filthy mouth. You corrupt your Quran. You give it different meaning. We show you dictionary, you don't accept dictionary. You say, I accept. And you say to me, okay, does it say blazing fire? Okay, here we go between. Blazing fire is between. What kind of a human being you are? You are the kind of a mule who make poo, poo and he cannot agree because he have a pride that he is a mule. Everybody is laughing at you. Not a single Muslim believe in such a garbage. Not even the one you follow, Rashad Khalifa. Shame on you. I am better than he. You created me from fire, you donkey. Which means at that moment when he, before he 
send him to jail. He was created from fire in front of you. It's in front of you, son of Muta. According to you, when he disobey, Allah made him of fire. No. This is the verse before Allah, he punish him. Don't cut the video here. Post it in your channel. Let everybody laugh at you, son of Muta. Why you did not bow down? This is before he punish him. He said, he did not say I am an angel. He did not say I am because I'm an angel. He says, because you created me from fire. No shame. And I challenge every Muslim to post what this guy said in his channel. Every one of you. Let everybody in the world laugh at the Muhammadan. I am better than he. You created me from fire. Then Allah said to him, get down. The punishment is after the answer. You created me from fire. You created him from mud. Then Allah said, therefore you must go down so how now the punishment is happening why you did not bow down because i am a created from fire do you see how easy to dispute their lies and their stupidity everybody is laughing at you it doesn't matter if they are christian jews hindu atheist muslims Why you don't want to bow down? Because I am created from fire. He is not an angel. Angels are not made of fire. And you agreed. You said, because he disobeyed, then Allah created him from fire. I said to you, so when he, what he was before, you said an angel. But this is not what the verse is saying. And it's not what your prophet is saying. And it's not what interpretation saying, and this is not what any translation saying. Very easy to spank you. And look how, how filthy he is. He said, Didn't you swear you will not debate me? I'm not debating you. I said, Fakira is corny, let us have fun. <laughs> I will let her talk. I did not even mention a name except Fakira. This is how much I have respect for you, Fakira. Because you called me once using the name of a female, Fakira, and you change your voice to a voice of a female. So how I can debate a person he is confused about his gender? In other words, you are a, you are a transgender. I mean, aren't you have a do you, do you even have a shame? You change your voice to a voice of a girl to talk to me? Is that how desperate you are? And each time you call me, people die laughing at you. And here we go. You made just maybe one of the biggest poo, poo in your life. According to you, in Islam, Shaitan was an angel. And Allah punished him by recreating him again, making him from fire. But this is not what the verse is saying. This is not what Islam teaching. Who in the world can respect you? And now he is going to try to call again and again because he do not know what to say. He is desperate to get back his honor. Fakira. I'm calling Fakira. <clears throat> Answer Fakira. Fakira is not answering. <laughs> I mean, stupidity is beyond. They have no shame. And I showed the dictionary. And now he don't want the dictionary. He is the one who said, do you know what marriage mean? What marriage? This is marriage, you donkey, not marriage. What marriage have to do with marriage? Idiot. He didn't know Arabic, but he sound Arabic words. To make you believe in that he knew Arabic.
and now he will keep calling me because now he knew what happened to him. He lost his honor forever. What do you want, Fakira? What do you want, Fakira? Why you are calling? Are you are not Fakira? No. Oh, okay. Are you a Muslim? Are you Muslim? Uh, no, I'm not. Thanks to Why? Allah. I don't know because now I find out that Shaitan was an angel in Islam. Is that correct? Is Fakira next to you? There's no Fakira. Okay, is Shaitan was an angel? Is that true that Shaitan was an angel? Why you are not Muslim? Is that why? Because you think Shaitan is not angel? No, is he an he was he an angel or not? Shaitan is Shaitan. So he never been an angel before. He was in the ranks of the angels. What, he was an angel or not? Shaitan is Shaitan. Okay, I, I was going to repeat the same thing. Is was he an angel or not? Either you say he is not an angel, he was a genie, or you say he is an he was an angel. Yes, which one? What's a genie? He was a genie, huh? What's a genie? I don't know. The Quran said the word genie. I have no idea. You mean jinn? Jinn, yeah, jinn. Oh, okay, so why you change the word? Why you say genie? Then you say this. Is what you say in English? Genie in the bowl. Why you want to change the word of Allah? Ah, oh, I'm not changing it. You Muslim, you change it. So you don't believe the Quran? Okay, don't change my. I'm asking you a question. I want to. I want to know. No, no, seriously, I want to know. Quran? Listen, I, I need your help. So was Shaitan an angel? Listen, was Shaitan an angel in the beginning I'm when Allah created him, or he was a jinn? No, no. I, I, that's why. Listen, I wanna, listen. No, listen, listen. Yes, I want an answer. I want an answer. Was yes, he? Yes. Was he a Shaitan from the beginning, or he was an angel in the beginning? Read the Quran, you'll find your answer. No, I want the answer from you. Read the Quran, you'll find your answer. I cannot find the answer in the Quran. I want your answer. You want to find the answer? Yeah, you are the Muslim. Quran. I don't know how to read the Quran. I'm illiterate like your prophet. You are pretty good at reading. I don't know. You Muslim, you say don't I don't even know Arabic. I don't know how we are but, saying that. So but are, you are, why you why you are why you are afraid to answer such a simple question? Was it was Shaitan was Shaitan an angel or he was a genie from the beginning? But you are dumb, deaf, and blind. So you cannot you say know. whatever you want. Still, you have to answer me. Was Shaitan an angel? I don't have to answer you. Why? Why you don't have an answer? Why I have to answer you? So why you are calling me? Well, to help you understand the Quran. Okay, a, a Muslim late. girl. Okay, you said to me you want me to understand the Quran. So I have a verse in the front of me. It says that Allah created him, and he was one of the jinn. So was he one of the jinn from the beginning, or he was one from the jinn, or he was one of the angels in the beginning? I guess you get your answer, no? I don't know you. Which one? You want to go to another one? No, I'm, I'm not changing the question. I'm asking you, which one is the answer? He was an angel or he was a genie? I told you already he was in the ranks of the angel. But he was an angel or not? I told you he was in the ranks. Of the I don't angel. care about ranks. I'm talking about the nature of him. He was an angel. I answered you. What? No, he was a genie or an angel. Listen, Prince. Was he, my friend? Listen, you can insult me as much you want, but you no, cannot no, avoid. You me. cannot avoid the answer, please. I mean, what the problem? Why it's so difficult to say? Okay, he was an angel. A Muslim girl from Ghana. She called me right now. Her name is Fakira. She said that Shaitan. He was an angel, and then Allah punished him, and He created him from fire, and He put him in jail, and He sent him down. Do you agree with that? Sent him down to where? This is not the, the earth to the earth. So the shaitan is in earth. This is not the question. Focus with me. Are you taking drugs? So I'm asking you, okay. So do you agree that he was an angel? You. Do, do you agree he was an angel and then Allah punished him and then he made him genie? Or you don't? I mean, do, do you believe in Allah? I don't believe in Allah. Don't share the topic now. But your Bible. Why, why you don't want to answer a simple Bible. question? Why Muslims are so afraid of answering a simple question? Is that because I'm you know? You. Okay, so then answer was Shaitan an angel or he was a genie from the beginning? I told you, Shaitan is Shaitan. Okay, was he an angel? I told you, Shaitan was Shaitan. No he problem. Was in the ranks of the angels. So he is not a. So he is not an angel. I told you he was in the ranks of the angels. This is another question. He was an angel or not? This is your answer. Take it or leave it. No, you cannot tell. I can hang up on you. 
You can, but then okay. you will lose. How I will lose? People are laughing. Yeah, you will lose. Because because the Quran says, you are listen, listen, I listen, listen, listen. Look, okay. so you, when, 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 Allah. okay, at the your end, Bible hold on. No, my Bible, this is a false, this is a, this is a, this is a false, this is a, this is a false, this is a false, this is a false translation, the same as the Muslim translation for the Quran, as an example, your Quran says Jesus in English, but in Arabic, shut up, listen, in the, in the English translation, it says Jesus, but there's no Jesus in the Quran, correct? There is Jesus, No. No, Isa is not Jesus. Isa is Isa. Jesus is Jesus. Different word. Why, why are you lying? Well, can you show me the word Jesus in the Quran in Arabic? I can show you the word Allah in your Bible. This is a false translation. I answered you. <laughs> oh, so your Bible is false. No, this is a false translation. See? Translation. Okay, translation is translation. Translation is made, it made by translator. So this is a false translation. So I'm asking you, are you saying to me now, you're Muslims, you give false translation? What is it? When you Muslim, you use the word Jesus in the Quran. It's not in the Quran. There's no Jesus. Because Jesus was a messenger. No, no, no. The Quran say Isa. The Quran say Isa. Why you write the word Jesus in your Quran? And Jesus is gonna come back and he's gonna. Save okay, let us go back to zero. Let us go. No, I, I listen, listen. We will, we will come back to Jesus. Listen. So, Shaitan, when he was created, Allah, he created him as a jinn, correct? Okay. So he was not an angel. So why, why took you all those uh, uh, argument to say to me, okay, okay. So now you agree. Allah made shaitan from the beginning a genie, not an angel. I told you already. He was okay. Shaitan. Okay. He was shaitan. He was a genie, not an angel. Why do you say genie? What's genie? He was a jinn. No problem. Jinn. Jinn. Are you happy now? Jinn. Hey, listen, man. Christian Prince, what's your problem with Islam? Listen. Why you keep attacking Islam? I don't have a problem. I like it. You know, if I if uh, if there is no Islam, if you I'll, like it, why if, are you not Muslim? Because it's laughable. It's stupid. I like Why? it because I, I, it's the religion of Allah. Okay, okay, Jesus okay. With, I, will, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will go. I will, I will go. I will go with you. I will go. Okay, hold, hold on. Allah, He ordered all the angels to bow down to Adam, except Shaitan, and you agree that He is not an angel. So why Shaitan will be punished for not bowing down if Allah He ordered only the angels? The angels follow the order of Allah. Ex exactly, because they are angels. If I say, all dogs say how, except the cat, I will, I'm not commanding the cat, I'm commanding dogs. They are different kind. And you agree that shaitan created from the beginning to be a shaitan is a genie. So Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down. He did not order the shaitan to bow down. So why Allah upset from the shaitan when he did not even command him to bow down? What do you mean he did not command him? Well, you agreed that Allah he command the shaitan to command the angels to bow down, correct? I didn't agree for that. You did not, so you didn't agree with the Quran? I didn't agree with he said the angels go down. Well, the Quran says that. I didn't say that. It says chapter 2, verse number 34. Chapter 2, verse number 34. Verse number 34. Uh huh. I guess you want to keep going, huh? I keep going, but you can do about it. Hey, man, I'm trying to help you before. Yeah, you thank you for helping me. Thank, thank you for helping me. Yeah, I don't want to go to heaven, which is giving me endless penis. What do you want to do with endless penis if your wife is next to you? Your neighbor will sleep with her? Huh? If your penis is endless and your wife Brother, is next to nice. you. Huh? Be nice. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just quoting your prophet. Your prophet, he says, Kanakhla sahu. Why don't you quote the Quran? Okay, now I'm quoting the Quran. Chapter 2, verse number 34, it says, And behold, we say to listen, the angels, listen, 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 Behold, listen, we say to listen, the angels, Bow listen, down, bow listen, down to Adam. And listen, they bow down. I'm listening, listen. I'm listening. So I'm quoting, okay. show respect to the Quran, man. What's wrong with you? Yes, show respect. Okay, to so when I quote, okay, you want to read it? Oh, go ahead. Yes. You want me to read the translation? Read whatever you want. Go ahead. Let's see if I can try Arabic. Huh. Don't play a recording for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when we said to the angels... This is Arabic now. 
prostrate yourselves before Adam, and they prostrated. The angels prostrated, mm -hmm. except Iblis. Uh -huh. He refused, and he was proud. Uh -huh. He was one of the unbelievers. Mm. And? You want me to go to the next one? And no, but I mean, okay, but I, you, so, so I'm right. So I'm right. Allah, he ordered the angels only. He did not order the shaitan. And you told me from the beginning, Allah created him as a shaitan. He is a jinn. So the jinn, he was not between the one who being commanded. So Allah ordered the angels. Huh? Listen, listen, listen. It's very easy. The Quran, it's clear. Oh, so clear for sure. Yeah. But Allah, he ordered the, the angels. I, I agree with you. This is very clear. Allah ordered the angels to bow down. Why he is so? Why he is upset from someone he is not an angel for not bowing down? Because he he refused to pass through. But he did not order him. He ordered the angels, and you agreed that he is not an angel. Yeah, he talked about the angel to prostrate, and he told, "How do you know he didn't tell the shaitan to prostrate?" The verse in front of you it says, "We say to the angels." Yeah, to the angels for them, and they prostrated. Then he goes. Okay. Except the Iblis. Except what? Except. The, okay. The Iblis, in, in order, like said, in, Iblis, he was brother. Uh -huh. Iblis, he was in the ranks of the angel. Doesn't matter if I say he's an angel. Is he an angel? No. Okay. So I we say we. First of all, this is a fabrication. Can you show me a verse in the Quran saying that Iblis was in the rank of the angels? Uh, nothing in the Quran is a fabrication. Okay, in the Hadith, you, uh, 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 Iblis was a snake. Mm. We are talking about Quran now. Why okay, so now, so now, so now, so you have to give now, me the reference of him being in rank of angels. Now we know, we know the Quran is. What do you know? Quran. Okay, no, you see, focus on me, focus on me, relax. I am, I am. So and I'm trying to help he you said, understand. he you said, know, okay, look, look, I, listen, listen, I listen. said to the angels. So Allah never mentioned that he said to Shaitan. He did not say, we said to the angels and did not say? it's in the front of you. The verse how says that. Know, it, it, how do you know what okay. Allah does or doesn't? How do you know what Allah does? How we know from the Quran? Isn't it the Quran telling us what Allah said? Yes. Okay. But how do you know what he does? He does what he, he said to us how what he said. My, my friend, Allah is quoting to us what happened. Correct? There's more verses. If you want, brother, this is not the only. No, 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 no. Listen, okay, no problem. Can you can okay? Can you show me other verse? Can I help you, maybe? I I can try my best to help okay. you understand. So that no, no. You can believe I want you to show me. You I want you to show me. Here we go. I just showed you the other verse. There's many verses. You're right. The Quran is a repeating, like an old woman keep repeating herself. See, you, so, look, look, you, behold, look, behold, listen, we say to listen, the angels, listen, bow down to Adam. Ch listen, you're very, chapter, you're, you're very smart. Chapter 17, you, verse number 61. Smart, no, I'm not a smart, my friend. You are the smart. I want to learn from you. Behold, no, we say to the angels, bow down I'm to Adam. Not smart. I'm not smart. I just believe. I have faith. Okay. So, you believe in what? I believe in God. No, no, but you cannot even understand what the verse is saying. So how you can believe without understanding? I don't understand. Yeah, because I ask you how Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down. Yet he is upset from shaitan. But shaitan is not from the angels. He is a jinn. So, I told you he was in the ranks of the angel. But he did not say the ones who they are in the rank of angels bow down. He said, How do you know he did not say he's, it's, it's the verse that says that the verses, all the verses, all of them they say, We say it to the angels. Let me show you another one. Here we go. I will show you all the verses. Chapter 18, verse number 50. It says, okay, wait, Behold, wait, wait, we say to the angels bow down. Chapter wait, wait, 8, chapter. Because I, I, want, I want to try to help you so you believe before, before you end up in the hellfire. Okay, okay, good. That's thank you very much for Maybe helping me. One day you die as Muslim. I appreciate your help. I feel like I'm gonna take Shahada now. Read. Be honest. Okay, read the verse for me. Read the verse for me. You said to me, you keep saying to me, how you know he Please, did not say? People, we did uh, read, I did read the whole Quran from the cover to the cover. Quran. So, well, not I a single. You read the whole Quran and yet you don't believe. This I is actually, are, this is, I a, guess Allah guides whom he wills, really. No, yes, you are right. Allah, he guide who he will, right? So Allah, he must guide me. So why you are blaming me for not converting? Dumb, deaf, and blind, they will not, under, Allah doesn't guide But, okay, them. I will go with you. I will change okay, the topic. Who is the one who made them dumb and blind? Allah doesn't guide the wrongdoers. No, no. Okay, if Allah don't guide the wrongdoer, so he guide who? The one is guided already? <laughs> So Muhammad, he was sent to the big and Arab, and they are not wrongdoer. All his parents are wrongdoer. 
all his parents are pagans. So if based on what you said, all the message of Muhammad is a fraud because Allah will not guide the wrong door. All the companion of Muhammad, they unless are pagan. The all the family, what unless, what are, unless now you are at the exception. No, now you are at the exception. And you are the one who said yeah, to me, Allah, he guide who he will and he misguide who he will. So is Allah shaitan Allah or? Who he wills. Yes, okay, he no, he misguide, he, he misguide, right? Misguide. Um, I don't know the exact ayah, but I'll look for it. I don't want to make a mistake, but I'll look for it. I will go back to it, but let's go for it. No, no, what, 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 verse no, 15. no, what, what the ayah, say the ayah to me and I will, I will find it for you in a second. Uh, you, you probably know it better than me. Let's no, no, just give me two words in Arabic. I will find it. I, I know the Quran. Allah. Is it the one that says you do, you do your law? The one who Allah mislead? Um, Look, you cannot. Says, you surely cannot guide whoever you like, O Prophet, but it is Allah who guides whoever He wills, and He knows best who are fit to be guided. No problem. That's wonderful. So Allah, uh, He is the one who misguide people. I just gave you your answer. You surely okay. cannot guide whoever you, you like, O Prophet, uh -huh. but it is Allah who guides whoever He wills. So, so you just said to me, who are fit to be guided. Okay, so you just said to me that your Prophet, he did nothing. Zero. Yeah, he's just a messenger. So why you Muslim lie in the Quran saying that Muhammad was a Siraj and Muniran? Uh, what is that? Siraj and Muniran. You Muslim, you claim that Allah, he said that Muhammad is a light for mankind. But you just said to me, he did not guide anyone, but the light is God and the light is the light of God. And the Quran says in chapter 33, verse number 46, da okay, in chapter 33, uh -huh. chapter 33, verse, verse number 46. 46. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Second. Remember, you are the one who agree that Allah, Muhammad did nothing. It's Allah. Okay. He's just a, he just warns me. His his mission is to warn people. But he is not a lamp. Is he a lamp? Is he a light of Allah? Allah loves him. This is not a question. I'm not talking about love now. Is he the light of Allah? Thirty. What is it? Thirty four or thirty three? Chapter thirty three, verse number forty six. Forty six. Mm-hmm. And as one who calls towards Allah by his permission and as a radiant lamb. Hmm. You and said to me, you said to me, it's Allah, Allah only who guide people. Muhammad did nothing, but now he's a radiant lamp. This is your translation. He's a radiant lamp. And announce to the believers the good news that they will have great blessings from Allah. No problem. Focus with me now in the radiant lamp. You said to me, and Muhammad is just follow the unbelievers and hypocrites disregard their provocations and hmm. put your trust in Allah. Yeah, we should put our trust in Allah. You have changed topic now. Is he Allah a radiant lamp? Guardian. Is he the radiant lamp or Allah? And by his permission and as a radiant lamp. I don't know this one. I don't know the answer to that question. Okay, we will skip it for you. You know that, that uh, I appreciate your honesty to saying to me to skip it. I do not know the answer, but you are the one who called me to explain to me Islam purposely. I'm trying to guide you. No, no, okay. How you can guide me? How you can guide me when you gave me a verse says Allah must guide me? I can warn you. Okay, how you can warn me if Allah is the one who must guide me? Maybe He will guide you. I don't know how He will guide me if He is the one must guide me. Maybe He will guide you. How he may be, okay, hold on, hold on. I want to ask you about the word maybe, as long as you are saying maybe. Did your God Allah use the word maybe or he's sure of what he do? I, I use maybe. I don't know what Allah does. Okay, do Allah use maybe? Do Allah, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't think so. You don't think so? Why you don't think so? What is the reason you say that? Because I didn't see the word maybe in the Quran. No, no, no. This is not a question. Why you think Allah will not say maybe? Is that because He's God? He is sure. He knew the future. I Allah say. Knows the unseen. Okay, yeah. So I say maybe. Maybe I will be successful because I do not know I will be successful. Correct. You you believe in Allah. 
My friend, don't change the topic. Using the word maybe, we use it only because we do not know the future. Do we agree? One second. Hmm. I'll be back. One second. Okay. Do you want to call some Muslims, maybe hijab, really dawah? They can join us. Hey, you going to stay there? Hey, uh, you can search Google. I'm waiting. Go ahead. No, no, no. I'll, I'll give me five minutes. Okay, no problem. Hmm. He will go now, search Google to find the, the God, maybe. And the funny, he called me so he can bring me to Islam to save me, but he cannot answer anything. Mm hmm. And Shaitan was in the rank of angels, but he isn't an angel. Where you get this from? I don't know. Everyone Muslim, he give you different answer, if you notice. This is how stupid this religion is. Every single one of them. The one before him, suddenly he made the angel Shaitan, and Shaitan was an angel. But in Islam, there is no such a thing. This guy, you don't agree. Shaitan was a created Shaitan from the beginning. But now he added the word, he was in the rank of angels. We ask him, where you get this from? I don't know. Yeah, I guess he's calling somebody, maybe. Maybe he will ask somebody to support him by listening and give him answers in the text. No, they are not in bed, they are eating. Aren't they fa fasting? Unless they are not fasting. They eat before the sun's rise. They eat like, you know, crazy. They don't sleep. This is the time they sit and they have food and sweet and, you know, they fill their belly and then they sleep after that. It's the opposite. By five in the morning, eat, they go sleep. We don't eat crazy. You don't. So why the price of food increase? In, in, the, in the month of Ramadan because you eat more I don't eat more okay. I eat one time no problem no problem okay so now did you find me the answer do Allah say he was the word maybe or he don't I don't think he does no I'm not we, we can't we can't talk about God by saying I think you don't think we need to sh I mean, sh show respect my friend come on you are a Muslim you are talking about your God and you are telling me I don't think is that how you is that how you explain your religion I can only tell you from the Quran what God says in his own words. Okay, so do you, so are you saying to me in the Quran Allah never used the word maybe? That's what I said. I said I don't know if he used maybe. I don't see So what kind maybe. of a Muslim you are? Each time I ask you a question you keep saying to me I do not know. The Quran is big. Okay, hold on. I want you to tell me to speak to me about something you know for sure because I give up. Each time I go to a topic you okay. you you finish it by saying I do not know. So what the, I, I what want to I know for sure. Yeah. Okay. I know that there is a God. Who is what, how you know there is a God? A God? Yeah, yeah one God. One there God. One God. Okay. Yes. Allah is one God, correct? Yes. When Allah he pray, he pray for who? Allah pray? Yeah. Why you say Allah pray? We pray to Allah. You speak Arabic, don't you? I speak Arabic, yes. Okay. So when, when the Quran says, Who alladhi yusalli alaykum? It is him who pray on you. Allah, he pray to whom? Who, uh, which verse? Here we go. I will put it for you on the screen. I thought you... In, how many times you said to me you did read the whole Quran? No, I read it, but it's very big. There's 6,000 verses. So, uh, so, you, so you are a Muslim. I am a Christian. I know the verses. I know where to find them. You never heard of them. I told you you're a smart guy. Okay. You just so I'm deaf so, and blind. But you just said to me I'm deaf and blind. But yet you just said to me I, I'm smart. I, 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 
yeah, I mean, you're okay. smart. Okay, how I can be deaf matter. blind and I am smart? How that work for you? Mm, good point. Good point, okay. So, if we go in the Quran, we will find uh, chapter 33, verse number 43, it says, It is him who chapter pray on you. What? Chapter 33, verse number 43. Read it. It is he on whom the angels of Allah pray. It is he Allah who pray on you. Remember, you told me that Allah is one God. I mean, don't you believe Allah is one? I believe Allah is nobody. So who you believe is God? This is not a question. Now focus with me. How Allah? No, I, how Allah? I, what, why I'm you? You see you, why? Why you keep changing topic in the speed of light, my friend? I mean, well, I, I give up I, with you. Are you? You, give up? you are an adult. You are mature. Because okay, I ask you a question. You ask me to open the verse. I open the verse. I gave you the verse. I put the verse. Yeah, and then okay. now you change the topic. Okay, we'll go to okay. this verse. Let's go. Okay, so why but Allah? You, but, but why? You will have to answer, but you will have to answer my question. I, I am answering you already. I told you, like you I, told me, I'm smart. I said, okay, but well, what would not to change anything that the proof is not to be false? So now, who will let you It is he, okay. it is he, he who, the one who we'll, pray on you. He who will let you salli, you salli, not you salli, you salli, not you salli. Oh, thank you. You sell. What is it? You sell. You sell. Hmm. Alaykum. Hmm. He it is who blesses you. Where is the the word you sell? Is a blessing now? You are salah. Salah is a prayer. You uh, sell. Alaykum blesses you. No, you sell. When, when you do salah, this is a prayer. Um, the translation. Uh, this is a false translation. Is, this is a false translation, my friend. The word you sully. This is because they want to fix it. They want to duct tape. In Arabic, it says you sully, and Mimi Hijab he agree. This he said. This is why it says he pray for not to. There's a huge difference according to him, but doesn't matter really. Pray is a pray. So Allah he pray for who? You sully alaykum. You sully is he's praying. Yes, he's praying on you. Oh, he's praying for you. Okay, thank you, guys. He's praying for you. Suppose you fix it now. So Allah I praying, Allah He praying to who? Or the malaika praying for you. It says He He it is who blesses you, and so you see you are angels. now going to the first translation. You agreed. A second ago, you said He pray on you. You are yeah. the one who said that. Pray on you. See, I said that God is one, and this doesn't disprove that. Well, yeah, well, I, don't, if, I don't know where well, you're if he is, if, if Allah is one, Allah praying to whom? Because if I pray for you, I'm praying for God, or maybe God's. So when Allah He pray, that's meaning there's somebody is uh, He speak to, He's asking Him for a favor. So you don't believe God is one? Well, your God is not one. My God is one. Your God is not because He is. He is. You see, we as a Christian, we believe in the Trinity. So the Messiah speak to the Father. That makes sense because there is a Son and there is a Father. Allah, when He pray, He is praying to whom? Is He praying to His Father? Mm -hmm. You're funny. They want an answer, not the word funny. Allah, he hey, prayed. I don't know. It's 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 hard. I don't want to debate you because you are, uh, you you know you you do a lot of, uh, uh, you know you do a lot of things. You try to change the words and stuff. You speak Arabic. You I know? speak Arabic. How I'm changing the word? I'm not even read translation. You claim you know Arabic. Who uh, are no, the? I, I didn't claim. I didn't claim I know Arabic. So what you're reading for me in Arabic now? You so you are not you don't speak Arabic. I don't know how to read Arabic. So why you are sounding Arabic for me? You are making fun of me? You are lying to me? What? No, no. I, I, only, I, I know how to read only what I memorized. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's very yeah. smart of you. Yeah, you are genius. So who will let you salli alaykum? What the word you salli mean? This is the word every Muslim know. You salli mean he I mean, pray. We know that each word in Arabic could have like five different meanings. Will you salli always mean? You salli in Arabic mean always a pray. There is no other meaning. 
I mean, you have Dhamma, you have Fatha, you have Qasra, you have it's still, it's still, things, it's so. the same word, you're sorry. There's no Fatha, yeah, there's no Dhamma, first of all, first of all, same word, no, same no, word and, when, and this is when the meaning. Quran, when the Quran written, there was no Dat, there's no Fatha, there's no Qasra, there's nothing. And by the way, you know Arabic, because there is no way, you do not know Arabic and you say, you know how to say the word correctly, Fatha and Dhamma and Qasra. Jesus prayed for his people. No problem. Jesus is speaking to the Father. Allah, he's speaking to whom? Allah asking who? When he pray? Well, the, Allah, he speak Quran, to whom? This Quran is for mankind and jinn. Okay, are you a jinn or a mankind? I'm a, I'm a mankind. What is the proof that you are a mankind, not a jinn? I'm made from clay. How you prove it that you are made from clay? I'm son of Adam. How you know? Because we are how because we are in this earth. How tall are you? Five nine, five ten. So how you are son of Adam when Adam was sixth floor high building height? You don't believe in Adam? I'm not I'm talking about Adam now. I'm talking about how you can be son of Adam, but your Adam is so tall and you are so short. We are all children of Adam. I don't care. This is not the question. Why you are five foot tall and Adam was six floor high building? He was 60 cubits. I don't know. Okay. Where Muhammad he got his information from that Adam was 60 span tall? I don't know. Okay, that's a good answer. He don't know. So if we ask Muhammad the same question as we asking you, is you want to say, I don't know? Or it's a fabrication? Muhammad, Muhammad is not here to answer you. Oh, where is he? He's gone. He's gone? That's sad. Are you saying he's dead? Allah Allah okay. So now, listen. You see, you speak Arabic. So listen, you said to me, Muhammad is not here to answer you, but Muhammad, he said, Every Friday, pray for me. Every Friday, pray for me, for your prayer will be submitted to me. But you just said he cannot hear you, he cannot answer you. So, Muhammad lied. Yeah, okay, read the hate for me. It says here, the uh, how, how did he lie? Well, you, I just ask you, you said to me, Muhammad is not here, he cannot answer you. You said, oh, I said, why? He said, he's gone. He said, okay, so he died. We agreed, okay, but Muhammad he claimed. That all the requests you make is going to be submitted to him. All the salah you make, even when he die, and this is in the hadith. It's sahih, authentic. Mm -hmm. What? Uh -huh. I'm listening. What do you mean I'm listening? Did Muhammad lie when he said that even when he's dead, the prayer of the Muhammadan will go to him? I don't know how that works exactly, but oh. you know, anyone that dies, you can pray for them. No, no, this is not what he's saying. You are he is saying that your prayer will Muslim. You are he is saying that your prayer will be submitted to him. Even the Muslim, they ask him. How this will happen, and the Muslim translation, they change the word prayer to blessing, which is false. How our prayer will be sent to you, submitted to you, while your body is decayed. He said, he replied, Allah the exalted has forbidden the earth from consuming the bodies of the Prophet. Everything can happen with the will of Allah. Everything can happen. Do, do, you think it's, it's, do you think it's possible for me to be a Prophet? Uh, See, so he speak Arabic. Menu. Ah. He lied. He said he didn't know Arabic. He speaks Arabic. Ah, and see it. And see it. Either Jordanian or Palestinian. <laughs> why why you lied to me? You said you didn't know Arabic. Hello? What is it? Why you lied to yeah. me and you said you do not know Arabic, but when you are you are in the store speaking to people in Arabic? 
Yeah, I said I don't know how to read Arabic. Oh, so you do not, you, you live in the Middle East and you do not know how to speak Arabic? No, I don't know how to read. Ah, you live in the Middle East. You don't know how you know how to speak Arabic, but you do not know how to read Arabic. Hmm. I believe you now. No. Yes. But a second ago, you were reading for me. You told me show me the verse, and you were reading. I told you I can only read a little bit from what I memorize. Ah, you read from what you memorize. Ah. Yes. But, but you told me. You. But you told me you memorize nothing. You told me I said to you. You said to me I do not know where is this verse. That's mean you memorize it not. I be, I I read it back from you. Okay. Let's let's go back to zero. I want you. You call me to convert me to Islam. Go ahead, convert me to Islam. How you can do that? I can't convert you. Who can convert me? Allah. How he can do that? He can. He can. He guides who he wills. Okay. I will help you. I like banana. Is Allah going to give me banana if I convert to Islam in heaven? There's many bananas, probably. There's what? There's many fruit. There's many fruits in heaven. You can have whatever you want in heaven. No, no. I like banana specifically. Did Allah mention the banana ever? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you know, whatever, anything I say to you, you say I do not know. I don't know. Okay. Well, in the Quran, it says "Watalhin mandud." Allah, He promised us in the heaven banana. Why? Maybe because you ask for it. What if I like strawberry? I don't know. You'll see when you get there. If you okay, get there. no problem. But still, don't you th don't you think that this is funny promise that this God He promised me banana in heaven? You're funny. Exactly, I'm funny. But uh, are you saying Allah is funny? No, you're funny. Well, uh, what kind of God he promised me banana? I mean, what the heck is that? Don't talk about my God. I'm not talking about your God. He does not exist. Don't worry. I'm not hurting anyone. Yeah, you can't hurt Allah. Exactly. You cannot hurt someone who does not exist. He does exist. Okay. Well, what kind of God he promised us banana? I mean, don't you believe God? Don't you believe in God? Okay, I believe in banana, but I don't believe in this God. Banana is true, it exists, it's real. Well, which God do you believe in? I don't change my topic. Why God, um, he promised um, me? Um, why wait, God, listen. he promised me? Okay, why, wh what, what, what is, what he's listen, trying, listen. what he's trying listen. to do by promising me banana? You know, is he trying to tempt me with banana, with food? Do you think we're I a answer. bunch of kids? Like, okay, I so answer. I say to, I, a, I say to a person, uh, a kid, if you do your homework, I will buy you candies. Is that what Allah is doing? I answer all your questions. You answer but nothing. Why can't you, answer? you forgot. Why can't you answer one question? Hold on. You answer all my questions. Are you serious? I answer most. What do you mean most? Every what single I, question you said to me, I do not know. If I don't know, I'm not gonna answer. Okay. So how you say you answer every single you question? Know. You but say you know, but you know who is God, right? Who is God? No, I don't know. Tell me. Well, who do you worship? Well, I I, I don't change my way. You know, the, the one the one I know, the Muslim worship is the God of the banana. Who do you worship? I don't worship the God of the banana. But who do you worship? As long as he is not the God of the banana, I worship him. Who do you worship? The one who made the banana. Why can't, the one who made the banana? Who made the banana? My God, not your God. Your, who's your God then? My God is the one who created the banana. Your God is the one who buy it. Uh, so are you saying that Jesus is God? For sure he's God. Can your God create a banana? Um, God knows everything. No, no, no. Don't change the topic. Can your God, can your God create a banana? It's okay. It's okay. I understand. I don't want to get you busted or anything. I don't want. Oh, please get I'm... me busted. Okay, hold on, guys. No, 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 no. no, please, please, no, please. Come on, don't. No, 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 no. You know, no. brother, I will pay you five dollars if you don't get me busted. Don't do that, and you know, I will lose my no, career. man, that's not good. That's I will not... buy if from your you... store. I will buy sardine from your store. Come on, don't do that. Okay, don't get me. Be... 
You don't want me to be the first Muslim to bust you, do you? No way. You are the first Muslim after 20 years? <laughs> are you saying in the last 20 years not a single Muslim bust me? That's a good thing. So you are the first one. Obviously, you are so smart. So listen. I told you, you are, so, I told you, you are a very smart person. You are. Okay. Uh, you like to, you know. L like to what? You, you, you like to be an enemy of Allah. Oh, because, ah, so because I'm very smart, I like to be the enemy of Allah. That's a good thing then. So if smart people will be the enemy of Allah, stupid people, they will follow Allah. Thank you. That's what you said. If because they I'm follow Allah, they are not stupid. No, you said to me, because you're smart, you don't like to fo Everybody heard I you, mean, it's recorded. You got me busted. You got me busted. Hold on, you got me busted. I, no, no. You said, no, stop, you got stop, me busted. Stop, you got me busted. No, no, no I, I have to agree no, with you. No, no, no. No, no, no. You no, said, no, because no, you're no, so no, smart, you're no, any. No. You got me busted. No, you got me busted. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. You still have chance. What do you mean? I didn't, okay, I didn't have a chance. You got me busted. You said, because you're so smart, you are the enemy of Allah. So you agree. That the one who is so smart will be the enemy of Allah. The one who is so stupid will follow Allah. <laughs> Bad connection. He is using the internet of the neighbors. Are you there? It's okay. Let him, you know. Poor guy. You never know. We might be able to help him. Are you there? He don't want to be the first one. He bust me. He don't want to be. He don't want to be that. He want. He don't want to receive that honor. <laughs> it says reconnection. Sorry, I will call him back. <laughs> Maybe he's off, I don't know. Look like he's offline. Maybe he hang up. He turned his, uh, you know, he went off. Yeah, it's an embarrassing. So the first one, Allah, he created shaitan as an angel and then he cursed him, he made him shaitan. He created him from fire after that, from between the fire. The second one, no. He's shaitan from the beginning. What the third one will say? If there's any third Muslim from the banana republic? If there's any Muslim from the banana republic would like to call us. Banana. Banana. Hmm. Is it true that you have four children and one of your children had died it's your deceased old child who tell you that Turkey would have big earthquake. Brother, don't publish that in the internet. My deceased, the, the one who died, he told me that. Okay, that's so good. I hope nobody saw that. Christian Prince, is it true that you have four children and one of your children had died. <laughs> it is your deceased child who tells you that Turkey will have a big earthquake. It turned to be that you can receive calls from that people. Mm. My deceased child, he called me. Hey, daddy, I have information for you. Oh, information? So what happened? Tell me, huh, son. Thank you for calling me. I thought you forgot about me. I did not receive any information for you. And by the way, which one of you? Daddy, I'm the one who died 10 years ago. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, by the way, how you know my phone number? I searched it in Google. Oh, in the grave? Yes, yes, in the grave, Dad. Okay, very smart boy as your father. Mm -hmm. Okay, what will happen? What's up? Uh, there is a big earthquake will happen. Oh, are you sure? I swear by that a banana. No, my friend, I saw a vision, I saw a dream that a big earthquake will happen in Turkey. And this was before anyone even think about it. However, I have a bad news for you. I believe the big, the big, big one did not happen yet. The one I saw in my vision, in my dream, it's not the one happened. Because the one I saw, the earth was like waves. Even though this one was really crazy, 
I mean, there's even cracks more than 500 meters. But the one is coming is going to be extremely horrible. So just wait for it, banana boy. Do we have any Mohammedan? You know, the Muslim, they make up stories. Not only Muslims, I have to be honest here. There is, there is a girl, she was chasing me in Skype, you know. Uh, she texted me, she said, is it okay to see you if I come to, uh, you know, uh, if I come to USA? Uh, I said, oh, okay, well, well, okay, sure, sure, you know. I said, hey, have coffee, we can have coffee. And then after that, this girl, she kept chasing me everywhere. And she starts spreading rumors that we are getting engaged and we are getting married. And I heard that even some they are saying that we have children. Some they said that now we are uh, getting divorced. And some they say, uh, and even I received emails in Patreon saying to me, graduation CP, we heard that next week is your wedding. <laughs> Oh boy, never say, okay, sure, sure, you, you know, yeah. Actually, uh, Osama Daktok, he called me, he said he have a group of people coming. Do you like to come and meet them? I said, man, once I said to somebody, I, okay, no problem, I can have coffee with you in the coffee shop. And that became a story. So imagine if I come and I meet those people. I'm not going there. Uh, yeah, so not only Muslim fabricated stories. Oh, he's calling back. Allah, Allah resurrected him. Hey, uh, Muslim prince. Why, by the way, why you call yourself Muslim prince? Are you trying to copy me or something? No way. So you know what? Muhammad die, your phone die, everybody die. What's wrong with that? How come? So hold, hold on. Everybody die. So how come Jesus did not? But you just said everybody die. Okay, no problem. But you said everybody die. Oh, okay. But he is alive. So there is no proof that he will come back and die. This is your fiction. But you, agree, you, agree, but you agree that Jesus is alive, okay? But everybody, everybody died. If there's anyone, is there's anyone in Islam right now? He is born in this earth and he is not dead yet. No, I mean from those who came before us. I don't know. Mm, so only Jesus. I know Jesus is alive and he is going to come back. Yeah, but you, when I called you, I said, why you call yourself Muslim Prince? Uh, are you trying to copy me? You said... Uh, uh, I can't copy you. Okay, hold on. But you call yourself Muslim Prince for what reason then? And then I said you, to you... You want me to change it? No, don't change it. I, you know, I like it, actually. You sound like a prince, actually. I mean, you are smart, knowledgeable, uh, illiterate. You do not know your Quran. You cannot answer any question. So you are uh, officially a, an Arabian prince. I believe in my Quran. You don't believe in your Quran? Yes, I do. Okay. I want to tell you a story, which is a very sad story. And you help me. I don't want to hear the story. Why you don't want to help I me? To... No, because you always try to change stories. I'm not uh, changing the story. It's a it's a personal story. It's, a, no, it's... Your, your stories are not funny. They're not good. Okay. Uh, you know, I have my grandfather. He passed away. But when he passed away, he was holding a stick and nobody noticed that he is dead for more than a year. I don't want to talk about your grandfather. He's gone. No, he is not gone. He is still holding a stick. Nobody noticed he's dead. What do you think we should do? I know what talking. What's ah, you, you know about? what I'm talking about. What I'm talking yes, about? Yes, I know the story. The story of the, uh, of the termites on the stick. Ah, Solomon, right? termite. Okay. So something like that. So what happened? What tell me the, the story of the termite and the stick? Is that a cartoon movie or this is Quran? Hello. It's Quran. Hello. I'm here. What is it? 
So what the termite story? Is that like so, a, is that like a, is that like a cartoon? Well, you don't believe the story? Well, is it possible that somebody died and he was holding a stake for a year and nobody noticed? I believe I believe everything in the Quran. Everything. Okay. You know, so so you believe that a person who's holding a stick, nobody will notice until the termite eat his stick. Why well, don't do the same with Yasser Arafat? Yasser Arafat, he died. Let, let him hold the stick. The Israeli will think he is still there. How do you know? I don't know. I'm asking you. Is he still is still holding the stick there now? God of Allah, man. Okay, so all what we do, and now because now we have a DT, you know, like we have uh, some poison to kill any termite, so we can keep around the room clear from any termite, and then he will stand there forever holding a stick. Nobody will notice. That is a nation that has passed. This is what? And they will answer. That is a nation that has passed, and all nations prior will answer for what they did. So oh, all nation they pass, okay. All nation they pass, but Jesus is alive. So nations they gone, human they are gone, Adam is gone, Muhammad is gone, and Jesus is alive. Do you see why we worship Jesus? Because he is the living God. Why you worship Jesus if he didn't know how many figs on the tree? Uh, and nope. God knows everything. Nobody asked him how many figs in the tree. Where do you get this from? You are making things and up. It's Let, in listen. your Bible. No, he, no, there's yes. there's nowhere asking him how many fig in the tree you are making things up. Well, Jesus didn't know the hour. Well, Jesus, God knows the hour. you can say whatever you want. First of all, Muhammad did not know the hour, and his are God did not know the hour. Jesus is lying? No, Jesus did not. Uh, are you saying Jesus is lying? No, 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 brother, brother, please don't say that. That's not good. No, but if you read the chapter, you will see Jesus says, when those things happen, the hour will come. That will be back. So in Christianity, so the hour. Oh, hold on. Back. Sure, sure, because he will be. Good, he good. will be the judge in the judgment day. So Jesus will be the judge in the judgment day for his God. Is it? Hold on. Who is the judge for in? His, the, who is who is the judge? Who is, who is the judge in the judgment day? Allah. So why Muhammad said that Jesus will be the judge? When he comes back, he will be the judge on earth. But Allah, for the judgment day, he will ju he will handle everybody's affairs. Okay, but Allah. So who is the judge now? I'm confused. Allah or Jesus? Huh? Huh? Who is the judge? Allah or Jesus? Who is the judge? Allah or Jesus? Yeah. I don't know. Are you a, are you a judge? Why well, you are changing the topic? Because now we have to, one have to be the judge. Either. Allah. Allah is the judge for everything. Uh, okay, will, but no, the will, but but your but your but your prophet say that the one who the will be the judge. He will hold everything in his hands. Hmm. But your prophet said, and he will say he is the king. Your prophet in Sahih Muslim he said <laughs> that the one who will be the judge and a just a just judge, the absolute just judge, Hakam al Muqsitan, is Jesus. And Not he will Allah. be a just judge. Huh? He will be a just. He will be a just judge for the earth. Exactly. We are in the earth. For the earth, but you. But who's gonna be the judge in the heaven? Okay. Jesus. No, there is no judge in the heaven, my friend. The judgment well, will be in the so, earth. You go so to heaven. You, so heaven is in earth. No, hold on. No, heaven is not in earth. Okay, so who's the judge in heaven? There's no judge because in heaven you're already in heaven. Well, everybody will go to heaven. Everybody who passed the judge who is in the earth, so the judge who judge you in the earth will decide where to go. So if you are in heaven, then you are already passed. If you go to hell, that means you did not pass. So the judge will judge you in earth, not in heaven. In heaven, already you are in heaven. So who is the judge? Jesus. And you agreed that the judge for the earth will be Jesus. That is God. Why Jesus? Not why not Muhammad? I didn't say that is God. Hmm? You said. Not why God. why Jesus will be the judge, not Muhammad? Muhammad is not here, brother. I told you he is dead, but Jesus will come back and he will be. Okay, with the what about Allah? Muhammad is dead. Why Allah will not be the judge? Allah will be the judge on the day of judgment. What do you mean? Here we go. This is Jesus. He will come back to be the judge. Jesus will come back to save mankind. Okay, I, I have a question. To save what? To save mankind? 
Yes. To worship uh, one God. And he will say that guys, did you, did you hear it? Jesus will come back to save mankind. So Islam did not save anybody. Well, it will happen with the decree of Allah. What do you mean? So, will come, so, so, will, so, so Muhammad did nothing. Muhammad, he promised us banana and he died. Jesus is the one who will save us. Muhammad came with the truth. Salam what the truth? He died and he is, uh, you just say the, the truth, one. The, you, the truth of, of one God. And my, he has no partners. My friend. Isn't it you who just Quran. isn't it you who just said that Jesus will come to save mankind? With the decree of Allah. Doesn't matter. He is the saver, savior. It doesn't matter. Nothing happens without the. Decree. So who is the so who is the savior? Jesus. Allah is the savior. No, you just said to me Jesus will come back to save mankind. Allah will send Jesus to save mankind. So Jesus is the one who saved mankind. Allah will send Jesus to save okay. mankind. Okay. In Christianity, we believe that the Father sent His Son to save mankind. No problem. So are you saying to me that Allah what have father? us? The Father. The Father. When we say Father, God, the, the Father. He sent the father His. Father of Jesus. His, yes, the Father. Jesus is born of the Father. Your God. He is sending Jesus. Wait, Why? I'm, okay. Hold on. Hold I'm on. Confused now. Is Jesus? You are always God confused. The Father. You are always confused. You're confusing me. You know, you're uh, confusing me. You say the Father, then you say Jesus is God, then you say the Father. Yeah, I was I will explain it to you. You Muslim, you say that Allah is God, correct? God is Allah. Allah is okay. God. God is one. When I asked you why Allah he pray, you refused to answer. I already gave you the answer. No, you did not. Yeah, it said blessings. No, it doesn't say blessing. It says you pray and you speak Arabic. Okay, let's go on. No, let's go on. So Allah, he pray. That's mean Allah have God. So I believe strongly that Allah is Satan. And he oh, is yeah. he is Satan. Listen. Like He is a small Satan. He pray to Satan and Satan command him. Listen. Jesus, listen. Jesus, listen. Jesus, hold listen. on. Oh, oh, Mr. Confused, listen. 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 Jesus listen. is listen. born listen. of the listen. Father. Listen, listen. Mm -hmm. listen. You see how I talk nice about Jesus? Uh -huh. Because I believe in Jesus, you know. You don't but talk. You, you don't talk about nice about Jesus. You say he's just a man. He is just a man. So you say you are just insulted Jesus. He's God for me. For you, he's a man. That's an insult. Well, we have to say the truth, even though it's okay. Better. And the same for me. I have to say the truth. Your prophet is a child molester. But you're not saying the truth. Well, did Muhammad marry Aisha at the age of six? But you're not uh, saying the truth. Did Muhammad go to his own son wife and he flirt with the wife when she is married? Told you, man, you are very deceitful. This is in your book. I can show it to you on the screen. Won't show it to you? You are, you are very deceitful. Do you, you want me? To, do you want me to show it you, to you? Do you want me to show you? you? Not only that. There's you an, think you think you know exactly what happened fourteen hundred years ago? I am not the one who said that. This is your books. Uh, and not only that, this uh, story connected to amazing miracle. According to, I, I don't know. I, I don't want to be. Uh, I don't want to be rude. But don't take me, please. I'm not speaking dirty. Do you think that it is from but you God? Always speak dirty. Okay, because I'm reading Quran. What I can do? If my topic, no, 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 if no, I'm not no, quoting no. the Quran, you okay, I will prove. You, I will prove it for you. you speak so, dirty from, you, you the if words if, you if somebody, dirty. if somebody, his penis is swell, is that a dirty talk? If I say that his penis is swell, what stuff for Allah? What does that mean? I think you know what it means. Okay, so you are saying we seek refuge by Allah from what I said? You ask Allah for forgiveness for what I said? What What does that mean? Because me coming on to you, trying to help you, but you still... Okay, what I what guess. what I said is wrong. What I what I did is... Okay, I said that person, his penis is swell. Is that, yeah, is that from Allah? Is that from Allah or from somebody I'm gonna, else? I'm going to go. No, don't go. This is all. Yes, this, uh, is all this is Al-Qurtubi. This is this is Al-Qurtubi. You see, I, I, you wanna run. You wanna. You wanna, run, you wanna run. You wanna run. You wanna run. I want to stay, but you don't wanna answer. You wanna run. You want. You want to. You want. You want. You want to run. You want to run. When Muhammad he I'm went to his running, own. Man. When Muhammad he went. Okay. Then then have patience with me. When Muhammad he ran. When Muhammad he went to his wife, son, he flirted with her, and then Allah he made an amazing miracle. So I wanna share this miracle with you. Please don't go no, before I share it. Share it with your friends. Allah, He made the penis of and the husband swell each time he tried to have sex with her. What do you think about this amazing penis uh, miracle? If there is any God in the world, 
He will make the penis of the husband. A husband. I will, I will not answer you. Why? Why? You are an expert. I'm not an expert. You don't know anything about penises? No. You don't have one? I think I do. So? Why Allah, he made the penis of the husband swell? Because Muhammad, he flirted with the wife. She is, the hus she is married to this man. So why Allah made the penis of the man swell? I'm not answering you. You have... You why? need to kind of, you know, go back. W what? Maybe you need to go back a bit, you know? Go back where? Just go back a little bit, like take a nap, you know? Okay, but yourself. how we can take it? I'm afraid now that Allah will make the same miracle happen to me. I go to take a nap. I wake up with a swelling penis. I tell you what, pray to Allah. So you think if I pray to Allah, the penis will not swell? I think you should pray to Allah regardless. You can, but uh, let's focus with the penis miracle. I mean, Jesus, he made the blind see. He made the dead man come from the grave. He feed thousands of people from nothing. And then your God is busy making the penis of the husband a man who is married to his wife. Just because Muhammad, he liked her, Allah made the penis of the husband swell. What do you say about such a penis swelling miracle? You can say whatever you want. So can we say, praise be to Allah, the penis is swelling God? You can say what you want. Okay. I, I don't, I can't control what you say. Okay, not but yet. I'm not saying that. This is a Qurtubi. Here we go. This is a, this is your official government website Listen, of the I, I suggest one thing. Page number, you should, you should, page you number four. Read, you should read the Quran again and ask. I did read. I did read, and I found your God did, encouraging. Did you encourage, read? Yes. Did I, you read the whole Quran? How I how I know all these stories then if I don't read the Quran? You read the whole Quran? Yeah. Really? Yes, and uh, I have actually an interview, a personal interview with the aunt, with the aunt who spoke to Solomon. No, 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 no listen, we're speaking serious now. Did you I'm speaking serious too. Questions? I met did the you, same did, aunt. Okay, hold on. Did you, did I, you write down all your questions? I met, I met the aunt who spoke to Solomon. Okay, look, I can't, I can't, I can't with you no more, man. You okay. are, uh, all right, all right. You take, know, take care take, and be careful for your penis. I mean, the prophet will come and see your wife, and then you are in trouble. Your penis will swell. Isn't this an amazing religion? Each time the husband, when I get close to his wife, Allah make his penis swell. That's amazing, God. I mean, this is the only God who have a miracle have to do with penises. Not like my God. I'm really upset. This is the true God. This is the real God we need. What's wrong with people? The wife, she looked at her husband, she looked like, what, what do you have here? It's so small. She prayed to Allah, may Allah make your penis swell like what he did to Zaid. <laughs> you wake up in the morning, you find your penis like a balloon. Like what happened? Who? Who? This is a religion. This is a religion. So instead of Allah punishing Muhammad for going to the wife in the husband's house, flirting with her, and I'm sure he was sleeping with her too. And instead of punishing him, he made the penis of the husband swell each time he went to sleep with her. What a swelling penis God. Who is here first time? <clears throat> if you are here first time, don't forget to give us this like. If you are here second time, give us like. If you are third time, you are transgender, then <laughs> you cannot give us like or dislike. You are Democrat. <laughs> I have to cry. I cry all the time from laughing, trust me. I cry from laughing, I cry from... Uh, I cry for many reasons. Number one reason actually laughing at, at Muhammad. Number two reason my eyes hurt me from the screen. Number three reason is cutting onion. This is what happened to you when you are single. I don't want to continue telling you for other reasons. You never know, it might be included swollen penis.
This is the God. This is the true God. The God who made the penis of Zayd as well. Allahu Akbar. And then we find that the Muslims, they are writing the, you know, the name of Muhammad over their penises these days. Do we have any Muhammadan before I go? I'm, I'm tired, by the way. You can't beat me easy now. Anyone? Nobody? Don't forget to subscribe and unsubscribe. So may Allah bless you. Otherwise, you will wake up in the morning with a swollen penis. And you never know. It might happen to you even if you are a female. Allah is all capable. <laughs> Give us reference the same page the same page the same page the same uh, chapter if the prophet his eyes fail into into a woman her husband must divorce her you know this is how filthy this man is you see a woman let's see if we can show it to you maybe in here in this page doesn't show But it's the same about same story. It's getting so late here. All right. <clears throat> uh, I'm trying to find from the same website. Give me a second. It should be in the same page actually but in the translation I'm not seeing it uh, but uh, we can do maybe if we look for number 10 hold on no okay maybe in this page is not appearing here All right, uh, chapter 33, verse number 50, and this is the same website, which is the official government website of the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. All right, I will show you the reference here. إِذَا وَقَعَ بَصَرَهُ عَلَى إِمْرَأَ وَجَبَ عَلَى زَوْجَهَا طَلَاقُهَا وَحَلَّ لَهُ نِكَاحُهَا if his eyes fail into a woman, this is number 10, he have many privilege. Many of them, most of them about sex. So if his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her so the prophet can F her. This is the link. Save it. Open it with Google Translation, Google uh, uh, Browser. So you can click at the translation option. If you do not know how to use a translation, you go in the side of the page here in the empty space, click at the empty space with your screen, the same area I'm showing you, click at translate to your language, whatever your language is, not necessarily English, maybe Indonesian. Translate to English, and then here we will go, and now we will search for what it says there. So I will search for the word 10 or 10th. This is the easiest way. Tenth. Here we go. Uh, 
marriage of umma maybe the word tenth appeared twice okay if his sight the tenth is appearing twice so if his sight falls on a woman her husband must divorce her and it's lawful for him the translation says marry her no it says to f her here we go it's in the front of your eyes do you see it and this is the easiest way to know that Muhammad is nothing but a fraud. He is a gang leader. He is a pirate. He like your wife. He will have her. Do we need more proofs, people, to prove to Muhammad to be false? Be honest with me. Do you think any decent man, in any way, in any mean, in any religion, he is a leader of a nation. He is a leader of a, from God. He will see your wife. He will force you to divorce her so he can F her. Is that what God teach? This is the very basic Ten Commandment. This is very against God teaching. That you shall not wish a woman. She is not yours. You don't wish the woman of your neighbor. You don't wish the woman of your friend you don't wish any woman of anyone she is not your woman that is Muhammad and as you see this is their books imagine those people who filter the stories of Muhammad trying to make him look good this is after filtration and now they are writing the privilege of the Prophet Muhammad he have 16 total privilege 16. The first one is the best of the booty. Safiul Maghanim. The best of the booty. The biggest TV he will take. The biggest couch. The biggest money. Number one. Number two. He will take the fifth from the booty. Number three. He will have more than four women. Number five, look at them. All is about sex and money. All of them is about sex and money. A privilege of Muhammad. Only a scumbag, he will have such a privilege. And the most horrible one, if his sight, just his sight, which means he saw your wife, he liked your wife, her husband automatically have to divorce her like a potato, like a rabbit, like a pimp. You have to grab your wife or bring her to the prophet to F her. You are not allowed to keep her because the Prophet's sight fell on her. And then they say to you that this man is a prophet of God. I would like to see you people making comment. Feel free to download all my video before I delete because I've every few days, I did not actually do cleaning for a while. So every few days I will do cleaning. So don't tell me where this video is gone and maybe later you will not find it except in the ultimate fault page because he promised he will put it there now. <laughs> Genie was an angel. <laughs> anyway, so God is good and we are always victorious. And as you see, this is nothing but religion of faith of a filthy man. His name is Muhammad. He'd been elevated by the terrorist to make him equal to God they worship him more than their God in fact in Islam if you insult Allah they will give you three days to repent if you insult Muhammad even if you repent he will be killed Muhammad is more important for them than their God they have no dignity they have no honor their prophet can if their women there is no man will accept 
that unless he is a pimp. There's no man with honor would let anyone touch his wife unless he is a pimp. There's no one believe in anything in this earth, no matter how low you are. You will not accept that somebody come into your house. He like your wife, you grab her from her hand and you give it to her, to him, unless you are a pimp. A pimp who is pimp. A person who lost his dignity. He is sold to the devil. And if Muhammad is not filthy, that privilege will never come to existence. Muhammad should be fighting it, should not be allowing it. He should say to them, shame on you. What kind of a man he wished to take a woman she is married from her husband just because he like her? What kind of a man is a prophet of God he would do that? In the Old Testament we have a story about a king, all of you, you know the name. He like a woman, he sent her husband to war, the husband he died, he married her. He did not take her when the husband is alive. No. She's a widow now. He married her. And then he have a child from her. And God then, he cursed him. He punished him. He made him cry like a rabbit for his shame. He refused even to accept him to make a temple in his name. And not only that. That child which he have from that woman died. The only child he had from her died. So we cannot compare between our God and their filthy God. Their God, according to them, he gave Muhammad those privilege. Our God in our book, he cursed those, he punished those, he tortured those. Who will seek such a privilege for this is nothing but satanic so my friends we cannot say that the christian god is the same as the god of muhammad and for many reasons number one our god is a spirit number two our god is holy number three our god have an amazing ethic teaching number three and four and five we can count forever and none of those is exist in the God of Muhammad neither Muhammad the Lord the Messiah he said from their fruits you shall know them I advise you to take this sentence one sentence of Christ as an exception from the old books in the world to be the guidance of your life in everything you do. Marriage, business, even voting in election, even when you go to buy a fruit. From their fruits, you shall know them. Bad tree will give bad fruits. And the fruit of Allah is a fruit of a bad tree. Cannot be the fruit of the good God. From their fruits you shall know them. Do we need more proofs? Who is good, who is bad? I can tell you tens of things about me, how good I am. And then you look at my fruit, you see nothing but bad. How you can trust what I say? Talk is cheap. The fruit is where we can find out who is who. Fruits? bad fruit good fruits 
And this is how we make a choices. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father. Even if you prophesy in his name, even if you say, I believe in Jesus, even if you cast demon in his name, even if you make miracles using the power of Jesus, Jesus will say to you, depart away from me. I do not know you. You did not do any of those just for your glory. Because from their fruits you shall know them. They were not doing servant act. They were doing master act. They wanted to be masters to get the benefit. And we find that in all cult leaders. Even Satan, he might use the name of Jesus to fool you. Satan, he will look at you. Oh, he is a believer. He's a good man. She is a good woman. How I can get in their closet? I will come to them from the door of God. But the Lord, he said to us to examine the spirit. There is a spirit coming from God and there is a spirit which is coming from Satan. And there is a very easy way to find out. The spirit who lead me to do wrong is the spirit of the devil. The spirit which leading me to follow the one are wrong, to think about doing wrong, is an evil spirit. Always we have to examine everything around us. The Bible says you have to be vigilant. Why we have to be vigilant? There is false prophets, false teachers will come to you in a close of a sheep, but they are wolves. So not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, not everybody he wear a clothes of a priest, he is a priest. Not everyone who put a cross in his neck, he is a Christian. Many are false. Many are liars. And Muhammad is nothing but one of many liars. So my friends, stay strong with the Lord. Hold with his words. Don't listen to what they say to you. Anything go against the Bible is evil. They teach you in TV and radio that everybody is okay. Everybody is fine. Even there is some they are saying that being homosexual is not sin. Doing this is not sin. And they claim to be Christian. My friend, we have the Bible. Same, they speak about Islam. They say Muhammad is worshipping the same God. But we have the Bible. Who is the Antichrist? Is the one who denied the Son and the Father. Don't let those evil ones deceive you and deceive your children. Anyone speak against the Bible, he is not Christian. And anyone he do and act against the Bible, he is no Christian. From their fruits, not just the speeches. So if the speech and the fruits are totally against the Bible, what is left? Nothing. Don't compromise and don't coward. When they ask you, is that a sin? Say, yes, it's a sin. They like it, they don't like it, what they would do. Only fake Christians, they compromise. There's no compromise. Either we follow the Bible or we don't. Either we follow Satan like Muhammad, or we don't. 
If you claim to be a Christian and you compromise, you compromise God. There's no so so. The Messiah, he says, either hot or cold, so I can swallow you. You cannot be warm, warm, this bad. Imagine you drink warm water, yuck, either hot or cold. The warm is a compromised water. Have no taste, have no dignity. Is a person who agree with everybody just to be politically correct. And this is why we need to stand against Islam. This is why we need to stand against what they teach you in the in the West, in their TVs, in their radios, in their media. And the second you speak against what they say, they accuse you of all kind of things. Still, let them accuse. We don't compromise. And the more you compromise, the more they will ask you for more compromise. They will never stop. They want to destroy you. They want to make you their, like their kids. You are confused even what is a woman? What is a man? Which bathroom we go to? You want to end a hippie, lost, and then you end in the street of drugs. This is what they did to their kids. They fought the Bible. They don't want the Bible in school. They don't want God in a school. They don't want God in university. And then what is taking place? Drugs, sex, filth, garbage, confusion, a man dressing like a woman, a woman dressing like a man, a man think he is a woman. They don't know what they are. We know who we are. We know who we are. They don't. And the reason they don't? Because simply, they lose guidance. They decide that they don't want to be with God. And when you are not with God, you are just them. Look at them. There is a, a city, almost 97% of the city is atheist. They laugh at the Christianity. The gospel is not good book, it's a disgusting book. Go and see, watch the videos. This is what they want your town, to your city. They want your kids to be zombie. They are busy about transgender, about bathroom, about beer, but they don't care for their kids. You see this coward, Joe Biden, he go and he speak about America, how much he is going to help America. Look what's happening. He opened the border for the drug dealers. They took the gospel from their schools. They don't want anyone to teach them ethic. They want to teach you how to put two fingers on your anus. This is who they are now. They are the same as Muhammad. Muta. Drugs. In Afghanistan, every single citizen almost, he take drugs. And then they have sex with kids. They bring a girl, which is a boy, and they make the boy have makeup, dressed like a girl, and he dance for them, and after that they have sex with him. This is what they want for your kids. This is not a movie. This is not a movie. This is not something you see in the movie. This is real. Do you see what will happen to you? 
This is a religion. Yes, this is a religion. The religion of the Democrat. The religion of the zombie. They are busy with homosexuality, transgender. Kids are dying in the street. Kids are dying from, from drugs. And they want to school you about what is right and what is wrong. So I want every one of you to teach his kids the danger in this world. Don't make the Western as your best example because sadly the Western are not your best example. Liberalism is destroying the West and we are the only Christians in the West trying to fix it. This is why we are opposing them in everything. This is the girl before drugs. This is the girl after drugs. Look at this. They even walk naked in the street. They are not aware of their nakedness. And then in TV, they say to you, everything is fine. And they post for you that an actress, this today, she have a new dress. They will not show you this in TV. How come in the CNN they didn't open in the morning to show us what's happening? Oh, because this is their towns. This is where the Democrats, they live. We cannot agree and admit. I'm trying to skip ugly pictures, naked pictures. And look, people walk in the street. Nobody cares no more because the whole town is in, this, in the floor. It sounds like Yemen, it sounds like Afghanistan. And even if Afghanistan, they don't have that much. No, my friend, America is not doomed. Christian, Christian people stir a huge number as a majority. Those are cities are doomed. Those cities of the atheist. If you go to America, America is a huge country. There's a lot of great cities, great towns, great Christians. Especially when you stay away from cities like New York, San Francisco, etc. No, America is not doomed. They are trying to make it doomed. They are working in it. Things we have to be aware of. Drugs is your enemy, the enemy of your children, the enemy of your income, the enemy of your health, the enemy of your safety, the enemy of everything. Never get close to it. Teach your kids, show them images, show them pictures. Don't let them just go and somebody will fool them. Try it, try it. Don't smoke. And even if you drink, don't be stupid. The Lord, he says, little of it will bust your heart. Little. Do you know what the word little mean? Don't be mental. Don't be an idiot. Anything is not good for your health. Never put it in your mouth. Never put it in your blood. Never accept any one opinion. Use your brain. 
Bad company will bring bad future to you. Bad apple will destroy a box of apple, a truck of apples. Don't allow the bad apple to be in your box. Don't even welcome it. Even the Bible teaches us that we should not welcome those who preach against God or pagan God. Don't welcome them. Don't even let them get in. You've been warned. And don't think that your kids are protected from this. No, they are not. How they will be if you don't tell them? How they will be if you don't watch them? Do you know they are talking to who? Do you know they are meeting who? Do you know what they are doing, what they are, when they are outside? Do you know? Do you try to check to smell on them? Do you try to check to see their skin, their eyes? Do you try to check to see if they have needles? Do you try to check you know, how, uh, how healthy they are? Do you give them phones? Muslim Prince, he just sent me uh, Quran in English audio. You broke my heart. And he is asking me to repent to Allah. <laughs> Watch this part. <laughs> Which part is that the one who says that he made his the penis of the husband as well? Or the one that says that Adam is 60 cupid tall? I mean, what's wrong with those people? After all what I said to him, he's, you know, the guy is trying to help me, supposedly. Lord have mercy. And actually, this is what is scary. That somebody, because you are naive, you see, I'm not making fun of him. I feel sorry for him. He's a naive man. He's a poor man. He's a simple man. But this is what he heard. This is what he learned. And this can happen to many people. Not all of us, we have the same level of education or intelligence. There's many like this. He, they told him that Islam is amazing, the Quran is amazing. But the second you ask him a question, he get lost. He, he still think after all what I showed him, and all, this guy, he watched my videos almost every day. Yes, I did speak, seek to help for, uh, of Allah and your followers before it's too late. Don't feel sorry for me. Islam, I would the truth. Allah is amazing. Yeah, sure. I mean, if Allah is not amazing, He will not make the penis of the husband as well. Hmm? Yeah. Sound like the miracles of Joe Biden. He make the, the dollar as well. You know, inflation. Joe Biden and Allah, they share many things. Joe Biden, he make the dollar lose its value as well, became big for no value. He printed a lot of money. And Allah make the penis of the husband of Zainab Swell, eh, it's the same. A lot of similarity between them. Both they make things as well. They make your Joe Biden, he make your pocket swell with money have no value. Allah, he make your pocket swell with penis have no use. All of this because the Prophet, he like your wife. Hmm. No, okay. What if the Prophet, he like the husband? Allah will make her vagina swell. Just a question, you know. Anyway, time to go. Feel free to download the video. I will keep it there until tomorrow, maybe noon time. Already we are in tomorrow, 2 a.m. in the morning. Until I see you again, 
I say may the Lord bless you and in order to find out which channel we will be because remember we might lose our channel anytime very normal to happen to the easiest way to find where I will be always you can always go to patreon you do not need even to make an account you do not need even to log in you just go to that address and you will see the last time I made the post the last time I made a post is where you will find where I will be that means this is the channel I'm going to go live in it so don't stick with the channel because channel can't go as you know we are driving them crazy and we are going against the policy of the devil the devil have a policy have a guideline and we are speaking against the policy of the devil so the devil will try to mute us, stop us. So you can go always to Patreon. I'm not asking you to make donation. I know none of you is interested. But this is just to find out where I would be. Muslim Prince is calling. What do you want? Yes, Muslim Prince, what do you want? Tell your followers to click on the link I sent. Okay, what if we do in the link? What will happen? Are we going to find the reason Allah He made the penis of Zaid as well? Maybe your followers will believe. Okay, what about the sunset? So, what do you think, my followers? I don't have followers. I'm not. I'm, I'm nobody. But I want to go with you. Uh, are they going to believe that the sun set in a muddy, boiling water? I don't know if they're going to believe. Do you believe that the sun set in the boiling water? I believe everything in Quran. Yeah, but the Quran said the sun set in the boiling water. I believe everything in Quran. So, when, where you live, do you see the sun set in murky water? Do you see? No, I'm asking you. I did not see that. Your God see you, that. Do you, do you know where the sun goes when it sets? Um, I know. I asked my mom one day, I was a kid. She said, uh, the sun goes to uh, boiling water behind the stove and don't take a, you know, like a, a dump there. You think, hmm. you think your mom would be happy with the way you attack Islam? I don't know if she will be happy or not, but do you think the sun will be happy to, to jump in the water which is boiling? Goodbye, Prince. What? What are you? Where are you going? You called me to do what? To uh, just to watch the link I sent. No, you. I it's like it. You know, I was like, I, you, you, you just touch my, you just just touch my heart, and now I'm thinking to convert to Islam. You made my heart warm. Look, the even the sun go and jump in the warm water. Don't you think if this you, is very convincing that Muhammad must be from God? If you're thinking to convert, uh huh. That's, that's a good thing. Okay. What do you think? Okay, I have a question. What, uh, uh, okay, so the Quran says I can have four wives, correct? If I convert to Islam. Correct? I would have to go back and read. Okay. The Prophet, he have 13. Why Muslim can have four and the Prophet can have unlimited number? This is the Prophet. Oh, so do you think I should apply for a prophet in Islam so I can get a better privilege of sex and money, etc.? Because, yeah, if you're a prophet, you're right. I'm convinced now. So I think, okay, if I convert to Islam, is it possible I can apply to be a prophet? The last prophet is Muhammad, so you cannot be Why a he's the last? I can have sex too, like him. Because he's the seal of the prophet. I can be a seal. I can seal everybody. Okay, Prince. How about you? Read I have it? a concealed guns, you know. When so, you read it, when you, uh, what's that gonna do for you? What is that? What is that gonna do for you? No, I'm talking about seal. I can seal. This is conceal, can seal, you know. So I'm telling you, Muhammad is the seal of the prophet. So, uh, who made him the seal of the prophet? He made himself. He hang up. Hmm, poor guy. You know, I, I don't think he's a bad person. I think he's a nice guy. But 
uh, what I can say. I'm trying to help him. He think he's trying to help me. This is what he think. Why the prophet have all those women? Oh, because he's a prophet. Oh, well, the prophet, he should not have time for women, should be busy praying, preaching, worshiping, teaching people about God. He's a prophet. You know, you marry one woman, you will go crazy. Two women, you will go twice crazy. Three women, you will get three is going crazy. Should I continue? Thirteen women, and they are wives. No wonder the guy is not. My friend, this is not a privilege. This is mental illness. This is a lousy person. This is a person who have no God. He worships sex and money and power. All cult leaders, they share the same thing. They want your money. They want your women. They want authority over you. All of them. And you know, he believe that Whatever the Quran says, the sun set in the murky water. So what? What a big deal. Well, time for me to take a shower. Now I know why the water in my bathroom is hot. Because the sun was taking shower there in the hot water. They warm each other. The sun warmed the water. The water warmed the sun. The wisdom of Allah. Science is science, and nobody knows what is science better than Muhammad and his God. Well, thank you very much, guys, for being here. Time for me to go again. Don't forget to download because I'm going to delete many of the videos previously. So, if you did not download them yet, go ahead and download. You've been warned. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon. This is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you humbly for today. Spanking the liars. Helping the nice Muslims. Exposing the false prophet. Getting them busted from their own words. Take care.